Thank you. So, from here, now we go to... Thank you, yes, I think we're going to the next one now. Yeah, I see. Yeah. 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 Thank you so First one, before I go to uh, these areas, I would like to make some remarks on uh, the FCDC counties. Your Excellency, FCDC counties, FCDC means Frontier Counties Development Council. Uh, it consists of about uh, 10 counties of northern Kenya starting from Mandera, Wajia, Garissa, Lamu, Tana River, Isiolo, Marsabit, Turkana, West Pokot, and, uh, and also, uh, uh, I think, Baringo and uh, Samburu. You will realize, uh, Your Excellency, uh, these areas have a lot of things in common. One, they are arid and semi-arid. Two, the people there, they keep livestock. Their livelihood is based on livestock keeping. Three, these areas always have problems of drought, malnutrition, poverty, name it. We have all these things in common. These are the bad things, but it has, they are good things. One, we have a lot of resources. For example, the land resource, 80%, nearly 80% of Kenya's landmass is in the area we are talking about northern Kenya. So we are very rich uh, in land. And you know people are fighting over land. So if these areas are developed, then we will not have problems in Kenya over fighting over pieces of land. The other uh, good thing, uh, Your Excellency, we should not always be telling you our problems, is that uh, the livestock the livestock also forms almost 80% of the Kenya's livestock uh, industry. It's found in these areas. If the people want meat, and even now we are supplying meat and meat products uh, in Nairobi and all the major towns. Uh, some of them are exported uh, outside the country. So the livestock sector uh, uh, is found there. And then uh, we have also, you know, plenty of sunshine and wind. And what does that mean? That we have the potential of generating electricity. I think it is only Turkana and uh, Mersabit that is producing a lot now to the national grid. If this, I don't know in Wajia now, if today, uh, what you are seeing, the, the light you are seeing is through a generator. We had to improvise. There is no light in the whole town. The whole town, there is no electricity. Because our electricity is uh, driven by diesel engines, which keep on breaking. I mean, the machines keep on breaking. And they are as old as, I don't know, this county. So we have that problem. But if only we make use of the energy provided by the wind and sun here, that should have been history. So we also, we are very rich also in the natural resource, including minerals and even water. You know, all these have not been uh, properly tapped. With your technology in your country and other friendly countries, we would like this exploited to maximum. You know very well, Turkana. Turkana is one of the poorest uh, counties. But today they are sitting on a very, they have a lot of uh, fuel. And uh, Kenya is exporting a lot of oil from that country. And we are told also, the water underground there in Turkana can feed, uh, can, can uh, serve Kenya for another 70 years. That is Turkana alone. 
So, uh, Your Excellency, the area has a lot of potentials, and we would like these potentials exploited to maximum. Uh, the other one is, uh, Your, Your Excellency, is about uh, devolution. Your Excellency, uh, before devolution, in my opening remarks, I said, I wish you came here uh, uh, 10 years ago or even beyond. You will have seen the difference. There were a lot of changes in the last 10 years. With the little money we are getting from the exchequer, it has made a lot of difference. Uh, for example, we had only two, uh, uh, 200 uh, members of staff in the, in the health sector. Today, there are 1,004. That's after 10 years. Imagine, I don't know how many, that is about five times the number has gone up. And generally, even the whole county, uh, uh, the whole county had uh, very few uh, staff, about 500 before devolution. Today, we are talking of 4,500 uh, uh, members of staff. So that itself, is a credit to uh, devolution. Let me also take this opportunity uh, to thank uh, all the donor agencies, including UK, uh, World Bank, and many others for supporting devolution. Your Excellency, you have been supporting national government for the last six years. We want you now to switch from national government to the county government. This is where development is taking place. Uh, Your Excellency, I just want to say brief uh, remarks uh, on, on areas of support. I just want to refer to five areas or six areas which are priority. Number one, peace and security, Your Excellency, is the single most priority for us to attain or have development uh, in Wajia County. Because without peace, Your Excellency, we cannot talk of development at all. You know very well we have uh, uh, Al-Shabaab, and uh, many other illegal organizations that, that uh, are international. But in particular, we have been having that problem in Kenya. And the problem mainly is emanating from Somalia. And because of the weak government in Somalia, we are now having that problem of Shabab coming to Kenya, coming to Wajia, Mandera, Garissa, Lamu, all the border counties. Uh, we must thank your embassy and DFID for supporting certain organizations, NGOs, and some international organizations for peace building in this area. Your Excellency, we would like support from your government uh, on peace building. The conventional war can be done by the military and the police. But we want the peace, you know, we want capacity building for the youth. These uh, youth who are unemployed, who are just idle, and uh, can just join uh, this illegal organization and bring us problems. If they are given some capacity, if they are given some skills, some training, some work to do, I, I think we can, we can contain them. That is one. Uh, two, border. We would like uh, the border, uh, border trade uh, uh, to be also supported. Because if we do uh, some, uh, if we improve the relationship between ourselves and the, uh, the people across there in Somalia, our immediate neighbors, then we'll be able to contain 
the shabab. We will get information. We will share information together. And right now, that is what we are doing. But uh, in the absence of cross-border uh, NGOs who can do that job effectively, it becomes a bit difficult. So we would like you to support that area. Uh, the other one, uh, Your Excellency, is on education. Uh, right now, as a result of Shabab killing uh, teachers, non-local teachers, so many of them left us. Right now we have a serious shortage of teachers. The local teachers are not enough to teach our children. And uh, non-locals uh, non cannot come back. In, in fact, the Teacher Service Commission transferred all of them because of the insecurity. So as a stopgap uh, measure, Your Excellency, we are requesting that you support e-learning. E-learning in, uh, in the absence of teachers, maybe the few teachers who are in school can be supported uh, through e-learning. E and uh, Your Excellency, there is one of uh, young men here, is at the Nur Ruh. There is a young man there who is an ICT expert. He has an ICT company. And uh, he, he, he is giving us, uh, he will give him only five minutes uh, presentation on the concept he has for schools. Uh, so Your Excellency, this is an area where if we get the e-learning, all the facilities, all the equipment, computers, and uh, also the other problem is also um, is maybe network and so on and so forth. Uh, because the network here is a problem. Maybe if we use the, if we can uh, use satellite in all our schools, uh, uh, there are not so many, unlike uh, other places in Kenya. We have about 300 primary schools and uh, about uh, 50 secondary schools. But our priority is the secondary schools. If we can get you know, the secondary schools equipped with these uh, facilities, uh, we'll be home and dry. The relationships that we have formed, I think, are very strong uh, and very deep set. Now, I wasn't in Wajir 10 years ago, but I did fly past and land and see Wajir uh, from, from the aircraft about three or four years ago. And even in that time, I can see the difference in development on the tarmac roads. Uh, there is even more of a buzz around the town, some more infrastructure. So uh, what you and your colleagues have achieved here is incredibly impressive with the, uh, uh, the benefits of, uh, of devolution. And I look forward to reading your document uh, on the plane on the way home with all of your uh, incredible achievements uh, across with all of your incredible achievements, including the work in the microphone, so thank you. Um, as you know, the UK very much believes that bringing together uh, development, security, uh, politics with a small p, um, i.e. human nature and how we interact together, is absolutely vital to bring long-lasting peace and stability uh, to any particular area. Um, we particularly believe uh, that you need political inclusion through effective institutions, and that's what we hope to support through the, uh, the successor to the UK's Kenya Devolution Programme, which we fund directly, where we funded community security, health and education programmes. Um, we believe it comes through conflict management mechanisms, including our reInvent programme, and regional resilience, so support for economic development, so for example through the Swayed Infrastructure Programme over in Mandera, um, as well as some of the cross-border programmes and the work that we do to support you uh, here in, uh, in Wajir, Ambassador. Uh, and I just wanted to sort of touch on a couple of those, because I think they also reflect uh, some of the comments that you made. Um, the first is around education. We all get, uh, it is a cliche for a reason, that the children are the future. We were those children once, now our children uh, are the future. And that's why the UK has been working uh, here in Wajir since 2014, doing educational support uh, programs. We supported nearly 60,000 learners, so that's 60,000 people who have got a school education as a result of our partnership that they would not otherwise have got. 
We're very much believer in sustainable technology, and I'm, I'm, I'm loving your presentation uh, and what you're achieving there uh, to provide digital content to get over to, uh, to some of those 60,000 uh, school, school children. And we support teacher professional development uh, and also literacy and numeracy programs. So um, um, I actually had a, a bit of a chemistry lesson myself there, uh, but even just the basic masks to help perhaps some of the, the pastoral communities uh, on, uh, on some of the basic uh, literacy and, uh, and numeracy skills. Um, on health, we run a nutrition support program here. Maternal health and family planning, absolutely central to what you are, are trying to achieve. Um, and I'm looking forward to going to see the, uh, the Border Police Unit uh, shortly with you, sir, um, because, of course, Border Police security is something that we support on a, on a, on a wider basis. Uh, I think the thing that perhaps people least know about the UK here is that for the last two years and for the next three years, um, we have been supporting 20,000 families with a cash payment through the Hunger Safety um, uh, Net, the Hunger, Hunger Safety Net program, um, and each of those 20,000 families gets 5,700 shillings a month, um, which it doesn't come with a UK stamp on it, but that is coming uh, from the UK, from the UK taxpayer, as part of our commitment to Kenya and part of our shared history together. So I'm glad that we've been able to work with you and support your vision, sir, in these ways. Uh, and I'm sure there are many more ways uh, in the future that we will continue to, uh, to collaborate in. Uh, there's lots of British businesses, for example, who are specialists in uh, cheap solar power that households can fund themselves, uh, who may be interested in, uh, in, in developing work with you here, for example. So thank you to you, to all of your colleagues, to our wonderful ICT presenter. It's good to know that even uh, technical experts, the technology doesn't always work for you. Uh, I thought it was just me, so it's good to know it happens to even the most expert as well. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you to all of you for hosting me today.